How to use personal conveyance in yard move. To put yourself into personal conveyance or yard move, you go through the same process until the final button. Just remember that personal conveyance is an off-duty status and yard move is an on-duty status. From the lock screen, otherwise known also as the home screen, touch the time clock icon in the bottom right corner. This will take you to the time clock screen. Let's make sure we are in off duty so we can turn on personal conveyance, also known to most as PC. This is an off duty status and the vehicle must be stopped and in off duty. Let's touch the center of the time clock and put ourselves in off duty. Now touch exceptions in the bottom right corner. Now touch personal conveyance and the button will slide to the right and highlight itself orange. Touch Dismiss or your back button and it will take you back to the time clock screen. You will see exception in the bottom right corner labeled PC in orange. From this point we can go back to the log screen or home screen by touching logs at the bottom of the screen. Now we are back on the log screen or home screen. You can now start driving and your graph will be filled in on the off-duty line as a dotted line. The ELD will fill in your engine hours and mileage, but it will not affect your driving status or hours. Just remember, your vehicle will stay in PC until you manually take it out of PC. Your vehicle must be stopped and not moving to take it out of PC, just like you have to be stopped to put it into PC. To take it out, do the same steps as before and touch the time clock icon in the bottom right corner. Now touch the exception button labeled PC in orange in the bottom right corner. Now touch the personal conveyance button that is highlighted orange and will turn off and turn white. Touch dismiss and you're back on the time clock screen. You will now see that exception in the bottom right corner says none and PC has been turned off. Now touch logs at the bottom of the screen and will take you back to the log screen or home screen. To go into yard move is virtually the same way as going into PC. Let's touch the time clock icon in the bottom right corner. This will take you to the time clock screen. Let's make sure we are in on duty so we turn on yard move. This is an on duty status and the vehicle must be stopped in an on duty. Let's touch the center of the time clock and put ourselves in on duty. Touch exceptions in the bottom right corner. Now touch yard move and the button will slide to the right and highlight itself orange. Touch dismiss or your back button and it will take you back to the time clock screen. You will see exception in the bottom right corner labeled YM or yard move in orange. From this point we can go back to the log screen or home screen by touching logs at the bottom of the screen. Now we're back on the log screen or home screen. You can now start driving in the yard and your graph will be filled in on your on duty status as a dotted line. This ELD will fill in your engine hours and mileage, but it will not affect your driving status or driving time, but it will be on your on duty hours. Just remember, your vehicle will stay in yard move until you manually take it out of yard move. You also must be stopped to take it out of yard move, just like you have to be stopped to put it into yard move. To take it out of yard move, do the same steps as before and touch the time clock icon in the bottom right corner. To take it out of yard move, touch exception in the bottom right corner that says YM in orange. Now touch the yard move button that is highlighted orange and it will turn off and turn white. Touch dismiss and you're back on the time clock screen. You will now see exceptions in the bottom right corner, says none and yard move has been turned off. Touch logs at the bottom of your screen and you're back at your log screen, also known as your home screen. Now you know how to use personal conveyance and yard move. As always, please reach out to the support team by email at support at or by phone at 865-888-MY20 if you have any questions. Take care and drive safe.